Alrighty, alrighty, guys. Welcome back to a certified hood classic. Today we got um, I'm gonna call it this or that because I don't remember what it is. I think it's perk or gun, and I have to choose wisely because if I choose like this thing over here, which is I don't know, if this is the gun, let's say, then something else on the next level is gonna be locked, you know, and so on and so forth. So I gotta choose wisely on what I actually need. So perk door or weapon door for this one. I think I'm gonna go with the weapon door. I get just the starting pistol or no? Yeah, I get a starting pistol. I feel like the starting pistol was the good choice here because yeah, you could survive with perks, like maybe tank more hits, but then like you can't kill them. If you can't kill them, then you can't survive. Anyways, the creator of this is French. So big shout out to that. I'm, I'm French too. So what's up, man? I'm gonna say it again. There's a, I made a discord recently and a lot of you guys joined last, uh, last video who saw it and it will be in the description. So if you come across this video today, tomorrow, yesterday, and a few months from now, click the description, join the discord. You know, we got some cool people over there. You could make some friends, play COD with them, play. There's a bunch of like chats, like discord, Valorant, Apex, all that shiz. I had bought these, uh, like fried pickle things and i put them in the air fryer now i was i was munching on them they're actually like fire i think it's like an american thing eating like fried pickles as like a an entree i've, I've seen some people have it as an entree well, i'm not seeing them because not from the states but i've heard about it as being a thing and i had a few it wasn't obviously like from a restaurant but when i did have it it was it was pretty good like i dip it in cream cheese i don't know if Americans do that, but I dipped it in cream cheese and it was honestly really good. This M M the, uh, the M1911 is actually mad strong. I don't know what he did to it or what version this could be, but like it's like a three shot on round four. It's like a one shot in the head, is it? A one shot to the head? It is a one shot to the head. That's actually insane. That's insanely strong. I'm gonna rack up a few more points and then we're gonna open the next door, which is it's 1000. So I'm gonna keep like one zombie. Oh no, I got a nuke though. That's 400 points. Should I end the round and maybe keep one next round? Yeah, okay. I'll survive one more round. I'm just gonna open this. I think we might have to go with a weapon again. Erpen, per, erpen or weapon door. Ah, uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with perk. It's dead shot. Ah, I shouldn't have. I really shouldn't have. And I bought it too. Why, why did I actually buy it? I'm on console, so maybe it does help. It doesn't even help that much. Maybe I should have went with the gun. Maybe I should have went with the perk. The perk was the better option. We'll never know because I'm not playing this a second time. Because I will make it and I will complete this first attempt. First very attempt I'm completing this. I hope there's no perk limit too. If there's a perk limit, that'd just be, that'd actually be insane. I'm going with a gun again. I'm forced to take a gun for this one. The Magnum, oh my. We're getting actually unlucky. I don't want to buy it though. I really don't want to buy it. I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna buy this gun again. Oh, what are these guns, dude? Hello? These guns are so bad. I'm better off just sticking with the starting pistol, to be honest, but I'm gonna have to buy this because I'm running out of ammo. Yeah, and I won't be able to get ammo if I run to them without killing them. So we're stuck with this for now. Whoa, they get burn on fire? That's pretty sick. That's actually sick. They like catch fire. Mm, I feel like, uh, I don't know. I feel like the good perks are coming up. And I feel like I could kind of survive with these guns. I think I'll be okay with just these guns. One good thing is there's at least no barriers on the sides. So I could just like kind of aim straight here and not really have to worry about, uh, about zombies coming from any other angle from shit other than shit here. Okay, that was actually perfect. Got an insta-kill and a double points and a nuke as I finished off the last zombie. Uh, yeah, I'm going perk again. Mule kick. Oh, dude, I don't know if I'm choosing every worst possible option. I don't want to buy mule kick, to be honest. I really don't. What if I actually am getting literally every worst possible option? I'm just getting super unlucky. TBH, this pistol is actually hard carrying. It's literally hard carrying. I haven't used the sniper much. Like, it's just so strong. I think that's the strat. Just use the pistol, don't use any other gun. And then just from there, just hope you get good perks or know where the good perks are if you're playing it again. That's that's for sure the strat. I'm gonna wait to get that double points, let some zombies spawn in, and then we're gonna go for it. We're gonna grab this bad boy now and then farm points. We're at about five and a half K. I predict getting like maybe 10K by this round. Oh yeah, baby. Light some people up. Light them up. Light them up. We almost got 10k. I probably would have got 10k if I didn't use that minigun at the end. That's okay. We missed out on like maybe 300 points. 
Not too, not too bothered. 4K for this door. Next door is probably 5K. Probably increases every thousand. Um, shit. Which one do I want? I'm okay. I'm gonna go perk again. Juggernaut. Yes. Oh, I'm so smart. I'm actually so smart. By Jug, 3K. Perfect. Perfect. And we got a max ammo too. Couldn't be better right now. Could not be better. I don't want to grab the nuke. You guys are probably wondering why. Or I mean, you guys know why. I'm gonna save up. I'm gonna slay. I'm gonna gather points. Gather points instead of grabbing the nuke. Honestly, Jug, I feel like was the only perk I needed. Maybe, maybe Speed Cola, but other than that, I'm happy with what I have. Again, Pistol is still carrying us. There's, I haven't had an issue. Maybe not until now. No, not even. I'm cool. I'm cool with just the pistol. I'm gonna keep these two because if I kill one of them, the other one's gonna get all angry and start running at me. So we're gonna open this and then. Oh, I don't even have enough money. To see how much the other one is. Ooh, uh, I could see what it is though before I do before I do buy it. I think I go weapon here because I have jug. Or should I keep going for perks? Electric cherry. Ah, uh, maybe I should have went with the weapon. It's okay though, guys. We are learning. We are learning. Learning what you may ask? The power of money. What money and anything could do in life. I was hoping to get Spicola. I was hoping to try and get Spicola maybe. Thinking that like, yo, Jug is here, maybe Spicola is after. They're probably like trying to finesse us by not like having two good perks back to back but they actually do so yeah that's that was a shot i just trying to get speed cola and then after that just buying only the guns and going only with the guns there's pack a bunch down there i wonder how you actually beat this game you gotta is there a viable ending or is it just when you reach the end here i think there's a viable ending by pack a bunch that seems like that last stand over there and then from there you probably have like a certain amount of money and you just buy the ending all your wonderful choices you made i'm just happy i got jug out of all the perks i could have gotten or like not missed on same same difference i'm just happy i got jug back to the entrees uh discussion if you are from the states what are like some cool entrees you guys have i know there's like mac and cheese balls or like wings i know people have wings for entrees which i feel like where i'm from wings is kind of like a main dish it's not really like an entree but uh what do i go with what do i go with weapon the p90 is it worth it though is the p90 worth it Ooh, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Is it worth it? It's probably a hell of, ooh, money, 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 money. I saw it in the distance. Make points for me, please. Make points for me? Make room for me, please. 2,500, that is, good thing I went for that. Good thing I went for that. Maybe the double points doubled it for me. It was like maybe 1,250 at the start. Another max ammo. The drops are being really friendly with me today. How strong these guns are are making me think I don't need any guns. I guess generally making me feel that way. Like, what if I just pack one of the dragon off and just snipe every single zombie from here? Not one worry in the world. Because I have such a long alleyway and I could just snipe them all off before they even come anywhere near me. That's probably the only thing that will stop me, just ammo. Mm, gun perk, we'll go perk. Double tap. That's that's really good. That's the steal, honestly. For 3k? Yeah, I'll take that. This pistol, you guys thought this pistol was strong then? This pistol is gonna be crazy now. Look at that. One shot to the head. Two shot to the head. That's insane. Maybe I play this again. A part two of choosing every option I didn't pick. If that makes sense. Basically, I play a part two of only choosing, like, I'll choose this side and that side. And the choices I didn't get to choose. That means no jug next run if I do it. Which I don't think is an issue. I haven't gotten close to death with jug. To be honest, it hasn't felt like around 15. Since these guns are so strong, it's like wonder weapon easy. You what, mate? You talking shit? You talking shit, mate? You talking shit? I shank you, mate. Shank you. You talking shit then? Oh yes. All of you's talking shit. Which one of you's took a shit in my toilet? It wasn't me. It was fucking one of you's. Oh, the insta kill definitely ran out. My, I mean my British ran out. My English ran out. A drop is coming. That means a drop is coming. Hell yeah. What is it? Double points. Oh, perk. Stamina. I mean, I love stamina, don't get me wrong, but I don't think I don't think it's that useful on this map. I'll take it though, I'll take it. Free perk. Bro, I like aimball with this. Just headshot after headshot. I don't miss. I literally don't miss. Look at this. Bop, 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 bop. I literally missed all my shots. We're good. We're gonna open this door now. How much is it? 9k? Basically 8k. 9k. Honestly, I'm gonna go with the perk again. I wanna be just a juggernaut. And it's Widow's Wine. That's that's not bad. I feel I feel confident enough to survive with these. I really do. I really feel confident enough to survive with these two guns. And the P90. Let's not forget, I have the P90 also. And Pack-A-Punch. Oh yeah, I'm I'm clear. I am super clear. Which makes me think now, the perks over here were probably like Quick Revive and Speed Cola. 
I missed out on a good perk. A lot of good perks, actually. But I did get a few good ones, too, like Double Tap and Jug. And then the other ones were, what, Deadshot, Electric Cherry, Mule Kick. I could have gotten better luck, but also could have, could have had worse luck, too. I could have not had, had Jug this run. The door is 10k to Pack-a-Punch, and then from Pack-a-Punch, is there a viable ending? Or do you just survive until you can anymore? Now that's the real question. I'm gonna buy the P92. Buy the P90, because I could always rebuy back the... Uh, it's kind of it's kind of alright. But yeah, I could always buy back the starting pistol if ever I wanted the Mustang and Sally. So I'm not bothered by it, because I love Mustang and Sally. It's such a sick weapon. The whole idea of it, dual wield explosive gun it's just crazy but i figured i'd go with this it's a great point gun too great points great ammo the damage is all right but i mean you can't have everything in one gun okay let's go open the door now we racked up a she's ton of money open this and then i guess we'll look for a viable ending which i doubt this is pack a punch no pack a punch isn't a viable ending but a drop is coming maybe this is the viable ending since i just bought the last door it's gonna like spawn in oh a free pack hell yeah i'll take that i probably could have packed a bunch of something cooler like my sniper but i didn't feel like switching weapons and going through all that hassle so now what from here do we literally just survive is there actually no viable ending is this flower the viable ending this flower looks cute what if i just stay prone here snipe all of them that's the challenge now guys stay prone and snipe all the zombies from here from this distance no, literally though, no, no viable ending. I guess I'll pack a bunch of the dragon off. I'll survive a few more rounds so I can test out the dragon off. And then uh, I guess that's really all there is that this thing has to offer. I've never seen any videos, never seen anything about it. I just saw it in the in the workshop for Black Ops 3. So I figured I'd give it a try. It looks like a cool idea. I'm sure multiple YouTubers have done this, so I'm not. This sounds amazing. But yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm definitely not the first YouTuber to do this. I feel like there's no recoil on it either. Like, I could just spam into the abyss and just... Yeah, that's no recoil. This is amazing. Reminds me of the SVUAS from Black Ops 2, which is, like, one of my favorite weapons, especially on zombies. Gun was filthy. I think what I'll do is I'll wait for one more drop to spawn, just in case, like, there is a viable ending to it. And I'm just not patient enough. But other than that, I think, uh... I think we got everything we need we could do. I think we completed the map. Okay, drop is coming. Viable ending, perhaps? Perhaps viable ending? Let's see. Am I a genius and it actually comes in? No, it's just Shmula. So yeah, this is uh, all there is to the map. I, I'm pretty sure I completed it. If I didn't, let me, let me know in the comments. And if you guys want to see a part two where... I do this again, but with the different options, because you guys are curious like me to see what the other options are, then also comment that. Or if you have any hateful comments, I don't know, comment that too if it makes you happy. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. And I'll see you guys... Uh, oh, also I forgot to say this. Share it to your great, 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 great grandmothers. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. Deuces, Malusas.